to follow this. Oh, you think so? Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. See, look, where are you? You're not even in the frame oh, right now. Let's back it room? up a little bit. What's going on, That's everybody? So weird. Hey. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> we're, live. Uh, we're live. We're live in we're the live. dawn. We're live in the Once dawn. Again. I'm, I'm checking. We have. A, we're on a new device. So I'm checking the feed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, also, too, by the way, oh. if you're just joining us, oh, look, there we go. <laughs> Fired up. Fired up. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe. Gonna, yeah. This is gonna so, be weird. This is gonna be weird, right? We're talking about money today. Money. You know? Well, actually, first of all, first okay. things first. Yes. yes. Happy related B day. Thanks, man. First yes. things first. Have you uh, have you murdered anybody in the last week? Um. <laughs> Kill anyone? <laughs> Not that I can remember. No. no. Thank you for any animals. Thank you. Maybe uh, any like beloved pets. Oh. No, not you. No, no, no. no. no I had oh, big, you didn't get that. You're just no. a regular. Jamer. I had a big issue with. What up, Robert? Uh, yeah, good, good morning, morning, Jeff. This is. Oh. oh Hello, hold on. Nick. I can see. It's funny because I'm on the live feed. I'm watching it to make sure we're cool. But. Mm -hmm. Okay, you were there. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Fine. Done. Right, I'm gonna turn this Everybody. Off. There we go. So, so we're, hey, hey, hey. on. Sorry hey if I mispronounce everybody's name. Yusuf, my man. Yeah, hey, Yusuf. We're talking about making money. Making money. Today. Uh, as a musician. As musicians, you know? There's a, a lot of uh, dignity-reducing tasks. Yes. That you kind of have to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about them. We've I think been we're, we've been there. We have been there. For sure. And we're still there sometimes. Out of, oh, still. Out of, <laughs> oh, yeah. Out of, oh, yeah. Out of, oh, yeah. Out of, like, the, I think it's more out of the kindness mm -hmm. of our heart, where somebody's like, hey, can you play this gig? And you're like... That, yeah, that, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. Like, like the gigs I get now, I generally never really want to do, but no. I just end up, like, doing it. No. Yeah, no coffee. Sean, follow your path. Good. Excellent. What what path? I have oh just the path of righteousness. Oh, Master Brute Kombucha? I think is what that talking about. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, like, how, yeah. Many, how many cars are on this? I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so speaking of money, Ian's got t-shirts. Oh, I got t-shirts. No, yeah. They're pretty cool. They are pretty cool. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to hock them if you want oh, something happen allowed, um... <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> weird. Yeah, weird. Uh, if if you want a Stitch Method shirt, you can go to Stitch Method. There's a video. That's it. I'm not gonna hock them that much. I'll, I'll hock them. No, I'll, it's I'll okay. It's, they're great. But <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, thanks. Well, so, nice. so many compliments going on. <laughs> it's his birthday week. It is. So you gotta give it. You gotta give it to him. But yeah. you know, I wasn't always the super cool, successful no? musician guy. <laughs> what was What was your first What was your first paying musical gig? My first pay. I think it was a birthday party. Yeah. I think I might have talked about this. It was a fireman's birthday party, I believe. No, I don't know. Do I know that? Yeah, with Cody Cook. Oh, where, my God. Where we were playing, like, Radiohead cover. Oh, that was... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It's like an older crowd who just totally didn't get it. Really? Yeah. I think that was the first one. But did you, mm -hmm. how, did you walk away, like, successful? Were you like... Money. Uh, it didn't feel that way, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's like $60. I, it was cool, I guess. Believe it or not, my, my, my first, like paying gig was a, a, a huge bar where we packed it with all of our friends. It was an 18 plus bar in New York, you know, like we, you can get an 18 sure, yeah. and we got paid 500 bucks. And when wow. you're, when you're like 17 oh years old gosh. or 18 years old, mm -hmm. you're like, we're getting paid to do this gig, <laughs> you know, first right. of all, like, yeah. you know, and we packed the place and that like set us up for such an amount of failure because every gig after that was like, Hey, we'll give you 40 bucks. And you're like, but no, we we're, we're, we're kind of used <laughs> to 500. Yeah. It's in our rider. <laughs> yeah, right. A couple of studs. Yeah, yeah what's up? Like, where? <laughs> hey, that's funny. The strangest gig you've done? Um, the strangest gig. I'm trying to think. The strangest gig I had. I believe I feel bad saying this. The, the, the strangest gig I ever did was at my in-laws' house, where I had just moved to uh, Florida, and they were, like had a party, and they just wanted me to, like sit in the corner and play guitar. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. So I just kind of sat there and like. Nobody was paying attention to music, so I just I, I I just played like a C chord and a minor chord and arpeggiated it all night. People thought I was like being awesome, and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah, just sure. weird. And that was it. That was my weirdest gig. It was just like I was like, I don't know why I'm here. Really. Yeah, I, mine was like a real estate open house. How do you get these? How does this happen? Yeah, I don't know. Word travels. Oh, like, real yeah, estate. Like, you, yeah, you need so, to sell this like, house. You get Sean <laughs> Daniel to play music. Yeah, well, well they had a big piano in there. So they just like sat me down to the piano, and I was just like, <laughs> "Really? Welcome, welcome to whatever the address was." You're like, so I was like, <laughs> "Pull me out, yeah. pull me out, uh, crash, pull me <laughs> yeah, out." Right, like, <laughs> I was like, "Welcome to like 1305 Glebe Avenue." Really? Like, so so good to see you. <laughs> like, I was, I was like yeah. really trying to be like piano bar style. Oh my god, it was pretty cool, but it was really weird. 
Because, like, people are like, what is this guy doing here? Like, is he coming yeah. with the house? This is like, like, is yeah, that, yeah. It's not, I don't think it's, like, a normal real estate thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, oh, hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Mm-hmm. Happy past Canada Day. I gotta tell you some fun events. Yeah, it was funny. Um, Barry, Barry's actually a student of mine. Barry? Barry. And, uh, Barry? Uh, yeah, and he, he made the comment. He's like, he first he's like, how are the two best YouTube teachers, in, like, in Sarasota? And I was like, <laughs> it's fate. It's fate. It's just, it is kind of fate, it isn't is fate. it? Uh-huh. Isn't that weird? It is a little weird. I think about it. Yeah. It is weird. Hey, I don't know. And we I'm both not and we both have we both work at the, the the same guitar studio, which is I mean it's great. It's a great guitar We're, studio, right? Downtown. Oh man, it's beautiful. Brand new actually. AC. <laughs> now I, I got I have more weird stories that have come oh. from gigs. Yes, hear them. Right? Yeah. yeah. So uh a strange <laughs> Wait, wait on. if you feel estranged from the song strange feel so sexy, so fine. I'll take it as a compliment. That was a mm-hmm. compliment. Thank you. You need glasses. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, my first... <laughs> my first male Snapchat nude <laughs> originated oh. from there. Unsolicited, by the way. Yeah. This is... Alright. I guess I'll tell this story. I'm oh. not, not going to mention any names, but there's this one dude who I like did a gig with a while ago. And he, he was a little... I don't, I don't know. He was a little interesting yeah. of a guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, he got me. <laughs> I know. I'm. Just, I'm, not, I'm a Leo. He got me on. Uh, so he got me on Snap, right? Which Snapchat's great. It's fun. It's a fun app if you keep it clean, as you should. And I don't have for Snapchat sure. Because uh-huh. I, don't, I don't care about social. Yeah, media. but uh, again, I hadn't seen him for a few years, so he found me on Snap. And he starts like snapping me this stuff, and he's like, "Like, hey, sexy, what's going on?" I'm like, "What? what? Like, what are you talking? Like, what are you talking about, bro?" Yeah, like, like while, while your girlfriend's laying next to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> uh, and then like. It started getting increasingly like weird, and uh, like he's like eventually like wearing like the like the kitty ear filters <laughs> and stuff, right? And like it, you know, Snapchat has all like the makeup things, and I keep and I'm like, oh man, like, and I'm like, bro, calm down, man, like it's good. So he, so right? this, so this guy is like aggressively starting to. I wouldn't say. I mean, it started less aggressive, but it, it was is ramping up. Mm-hmm. And then, first of all, I, I want you to understand, I, I think there's nothing against any sort of sexuality. I think it's just the funny fact that, like, you're starting, you, this guy started to, like, send you things? Yeah. Out of like, nowhere. Yeah. And that's, out of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. What's up, Cheddar so, King so, Pao? Cheddar King Pao's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, Kung, so Kung Pao, sorry. Kung Pao. Yeah, I was feeding him. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah, so I still keep it in these tabs, and I'm like, and it's getting, like, super weird. And I'm, like, regretting the gigs of Days Gone By because of it. Oh right? Yeah, that's so it's like it's like midnight or something, it's like pitch dark oh. outside. And I like I would see like the new unopened snap thing. Yeah. And I would just be like, oh no. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, is this the one? But I can't like not open it for yeah. whatever reason. Like, what is this? Right, right. You know what I mean? So like I open it. Eh? Oh no. And it was like, yeah, it was like new and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so I like I put my phone down. I swear to god this happened. Oh my when I was sent my first unsolicited male nude on Snapchat, I put my phone down. I walked outside. I walked down to the beach. What time is this? The, this is like probably twelve thirty in the morning, <laughs> twelve thirty a.m. or whatever. This is totally dark. There's no and around there's no lights. You know how it is, right? It's, it's, like, it's awful. So I, I walked down to the beach. I walked maybe like a mile and a half, just into like nowhere, and then I just sat in the sand as the waves. <laughs> Watching you clean, and I was, I was, I was so like this, <laughs> trying oh. to unsee what I had seen. Oh, that's fantastic! So I mean, that's like a movie scene. <laughs> yeah, cry- it was yeah. like. Were you crying? No, I wasn't okay. crying. Yeah. I was, just, I was just like really like just. Oh man, reflective. Uh, that's that's awesome. Oh, that's that's hysterical. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, I guess so, that's not really a gig. But no, that, don't know. don't send anybody anything that's unsolicited. There's there's a story. Yeah, but that's your. I saw a comment. Sorry, no. I'll go, I'll go ahead. No, I think it's hysterical. No, mm-hmm. um, I'll let you know. Like somebody asked about favorite Fushanti song, and I'm, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you know, I have a new series, Masters of Melody. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna be breaking down. Mm. I think uh, my favorite, my favorite Fushanti riff, as simple as it is, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. I love that riff. Really? Wow, wow, water, water, water. Just that riff itself. Mm-hmm. Well, like I'm gonna kind of take give everyone my take on like where it's coming from, <laughs> even though he organically hummed it. I'm going to kind of say why it works. But the, mm-hmm. it's not my favorite Prashanti, but I'm going to be doing Masters of Melody with Prashanti soon. Sure. What's your favorite Prashanti riff? My favorite riff? Yeah. I think I may have said Soul to Sweet. Yeah. Not Soul to Sweet. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I could have lied. lied. I could have lied. I could have yeah, lied. Totally. It's probably my favorite riff. Yeah, we talked about this too because I told you about like <laughs> Suck My Kiss and you were like, what? Yeah. yeah. 
Um, I gotta tell you, um... Please respond. Please, oh, sorry, I missed it. I, we, we missed, um... Ooh, favorite Wilco song. Uh... Wilco riff, actually. Riff. Oh... Cold Slope. Off of Star Wars. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh. Favorite... Oh, no, favorite yes. Wilco riff is the guitar part to Red Eyed and Blue. Bum, bum, ba da bum, bum. I love that thing. Yeah? I don't know, it's distant. I have a funny story about a gig I played. Please, that like, I would love okay. to hear it. So <clears throat> when when you're um when you're young, this is so weird. Hey Don, how are you? Um, what, <laughs> oh, possible Germany is pretty good. Um, we were playing a gig at the same club that we got paid five hundred dollars. Really? Back yeah. at the back at the bar. The back at this, it was called Da Funky Fish. Mm. Okay. Okay. In, in Long Island, and we show up. We start setting up, and another band shows up, and we're like. What's happening? And the guys were like, "Are you guys playing tonight?" And we're like, "Yeah, we're playing." And they're like, "Well, we're playing." And it turned out I knew the kid in the other band. He was my friend in college, right? Uh huh. I forgot his name now, but like he was, you know, I knew him, and I'm like, "This is weird, it's like awkward." So we asked the guy, like, "Who's playing?" And he's like, "Well, he pointed to our band. He's like, you 'You're definitely booked. You're in the calendar.'" And he's like, "Maybe we'll split the bill." You know, he's like, "I'll pay you the same. Maybe we'll split the bill, and the other guys can play." I'm like, "Fine, whatever, right?" So we play our like an hour and a half set. We say goodnight. Awesome. Thank you for coming out. We get off. The new band comes on. My friend grabs the guitar, starts playing the opening riff to Sweet, uh, Sweet Child of Mine. Mm-hmm. Who did it? And the bar owner just runs down, goes out, and he's like, get the fuck in. <laughs> Nobody's playing that crap. He's like, get that other band back on. And we're like, terrified. Wow. Like, what? He's like, and they, and they were looking at him, and he's like, this big guy. He's like, get the off the stage what? he's like I don't want cover crap he's like these guys play originals get the F off and the whole band like got off and I felt so bad and then we got back on and we played a second set wow. and I was really like like mortified the entire time we're sure. playing like anyway so that, that's what happened I think that could have been like discussed beforehand Andre yeah. is here yeah. the moderator's here the moderator's there here there we go so you better, watch y'all better your, watch out watch your tongues your mm-hmm. fingers so so we're yeah. talking about making money as musicians yes which doesn't happen yeah, so I mean, you have to. I think you have to diversify yourself. Yes. All right. So what are the tasks? I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of different avenues that you can do it. Mm-hmm. You can, you know, you can play in a cover band. Play in a cover band. I think that's top. That's not really something I've ever done personally, but yeah. I know a lot of people are successful. True. At that. Weddings for weddings. sure. I played a wedding or two. Have you played weddings? I've played a couple. What I've played more like people like friends weddings. Yeah. I'm not really like. I played four higher wedding guys. Yeah, either my but I played three. They pay very well. Yeah, for sure. Very well. And like, it's kind of like, playing a wedding is a little nerve wracking to me because I've only played the, I've only played the reception. No, the ceremony. The ceremony. Like when, right, when the right, deal's right. going down, you're uh-huh. sitting there like playing a chord like, You better not screw that up. Yeah, it's <laughs> silent. Mm-hmm. Like it's silent except for your guitar. Oh, it's, and yeah. And you're like, oh my God, please don't mess up. And like the bride's coming down, you're playing like... Somewhere over the rainbow. And like, yeah. she's like pretty hot. And you're like so distracted. <laughs> no, yeah, no. And you're, <laughs> no, I'm concentrating on not messing up. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh! <laughs> so, anyway, that's a, that's a little. What's the worst part about playing weddings? Uh, same, no, I don't think it's the worst part. This, uh, the stress level of playing a wedding, I think, is, is the worst part. Like Wearing when, a suit. I didn't wear a suit. I wore, the, I wore this. You wore that to a wedding? Yeah, I wore black cargo suit. shorts? Yeah, no, I, no, I didn't. Yeah, come on. I wore cargo yeah, pants. You to, I think you're supposed to wear cargo <laughs> pants. Uh, the most common wedding song is Canon in D. Uh, for for sure. me, it's Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I was, yeah, I all right, this actually happened to me not too long ago because I was at the wedding in Michigan. Yeah. And I was jamming out uh, yeah. uh, Canon in D with one of my friend's moms who's on violin. Oh, nice. Just in case they asked us to play or whatever, we were just going to practice it. I was so dumb. I'm like, what's, like, what's the first chord of that song? And she's like... <laughs> Of Canon and D? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you're like... And I'm like... Oh, uh, D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I forgot how to play it. Yeah, so I was funny. like, got it. Uh, you know what's so funny? You. Canon and D and... Um, what's the song? Do you have the time? Green Day. Do yeah. Yes. It's the same exact song. Don't, don't do that to me. I can't. I'm like... It's Canon and D and Green Day are the same song. What do you think of Green Day, by the way? You know what's really funny for like... For the power chord band genre, uh-huh. I really dig them. I think, what? I think, what's his name? Trey, <laughs> Trey whatever his name is, Trey, uh-huh. the drummer? Yeah. He's one of the best drummers ever. Cool, yeah. I think he's awesome. Yeah. I think that Billy Joe can write such a good song with 
Why, why, why? It's a very political answer because I remember a quote that you gave me once about Green Day. It has stuck with me forever. Oh, shh. <laughs> well, no, here's the deal. I'll defend whatever, like, and honestly, even though, oh, it was the power chord thing? Power yeah, chord? Uh-huh. yeah. They only play power chords. But for the All right, well, that's not exactly how you put it. Okay, how do I put you it? You said. Green Day sounds like a medical experiment monkey whose hand is permanently fused <laughs> in a power cord. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> That's what you know. I would never say. I never say. Was yeah, it? I just made that up. No, who, what, I, what was the quote? A a a, a medical medical experiment monkey. I don't think whose I hand is that. permanently fused in a power cord. Was that at the Sarasota guitar, guitar Company? Was yeah, that? I think so. I yeah. remember that moment. Yeah. Oh, now you remember. I remember it. it. Yeah. Now I remember it. I got, I'm, dude, I'm old. I'm not delirious. as old as you thought you were. Not as old as I thought I was. Don't That's get into that. Yeah. Don't get into that. Ian just found out he's actually... The, Two years the, younger than I thought Not was. the age that he thought he was. I don't know. I look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> making money in music. <laughs> you're gonna, yeah. You're going to... Oh, my God. You're going to have to... Uh, to make to survive music, you're going to have to have a side job. A lot of times, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe, when you're just, maybe not, but most likely, yeah. The biggest mistake my band ever made mm-hmm. was living off our income as a band to pay rent and bills. You can't do that. If you're living with a band, mm-hmm. and that's the rule, literally, if you're living in a, with a band, you're a band, you take your band money and you put it towards the band and all of you have to have side jobs and you have to kind of pay your rent and stuff. You don't use the band as your income because the money that your band makes needs to go back into the band. For sure. Like, until you make it. Until, mm-hmm. like, you're, you know, so... Uh, yeah, so you have to have side mm-hmm. jobs. Any side jobs that you had while being a musician? Oh, man. Oh, I besides like, stuffing envelopes with a big boob woman on nah, TV? Nah, that wasn't technically side jobs. Sure, I get okay. paid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> man, I was the king of side jobs. I mean, now yeah. I'm like full-time music. Nailed so. it. Nailed it. What? <laughs> Prostitution? Yeah. <laughs> they never get, it got close, but it never totally, it never totally went there. So I, I always had some kind of like side. I, I worked a lot of retail jobs, for sure, back in the day. You know what my most interesting retail job was? What? A lot of people don't know this. I actually worked at Victoria's Secret for a while. Get out. Yeah. In the store? You knew that, didn't you? No. I, how... like, I never told you I worked at Victoria's Secret. How, how do you... <coughs> All right, so... so guys. <laughs> how did you not know this? How do you walk into a Victoria's Secret and go, you know what? I like women. All right. And I want to work here. Like, what do you mm-hmm. mean? Yeah, see? Yeah. So, all right. So, it was summer... I think it was, yeah, it was the summer in college, right? And I needed a job. Oh, my Music God. Music wasn't really paying the bills. Yep. This is great. So me and a friend of mine go into the mall, and I'm just, like, walking into stores in the mall trying to get a job. I went into the Chinese restaurant. And yeah. You're like, I'll hand out sesame chicken on the Yeah, on I'm Tuesday. like, can I get a job at the Chinese restaurant? Yeah. yeah. And the, the person's like, like, what the hell's wrong? Like, <laughs> and I'm like, do you have an application I can fill out? Uh? And then she's like, yeah. She's like, put your name and number on this piece of receipt paper. And I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. And then she threw it out after a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I went to like almost every store in the mall. And then we're walking by Victoria's Secret. It says no harm. And, my, and, I'm, and, I, and I look at my friend. He looks at me. And he goes, I would bow down to you. Yeah. I'm like, let's make this happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I walk in <laughs> to Victoria's Secret. No guys working there. Yeah. Believe it or not. I believe it. I'm kind of, you know. I'm kind of like flirting with the, yeah. with the manager yeah. a little bit. Eh? Hired. Are you serious? On the spot, I get a job at Victoria's Secret, right? The only place in the mall that would hire me. Oh my God. Yeah, so I thought it was going to be an awesome job. Terrible? Mm, I mean, there was a lot of like, being the only guy working there, yeah. there was like a lot of like reverse sexual harassment, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say it. Hey, Sean, why don't you try this on? You're like, but it's not. Well, try I it on. <laughs> <laughs> now dance. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, there are perks for sure. Yeah. yeah I, I developed a very cool parlor skill. Very... I can spot check any woman's bra size. <laughs> just by looking. I, I swear to God. And I'm never, ever wrong. I'm never How wrong. do you test this I'm... out? Excuse me. I uh, I scanned no, and now I want to read your no, tag. I don't even I don't even have to scan. I'm, I'm, like, I'm never wrong. No, when you're when you process bras all day, you just <laughs> as your mom walks up the stairs. This is the funniest moment. Yeah, I spot that. So well when you process bras all day, it just you develop a sense of it. Yeah, I understand that. You know I understand that you're so funny. But that's that's such a cool trick to have like I remember, yeah. W- Women are very impressed by that. Are you a woman? Because I, d- I doubt that. Oh, like, they are. <laughs> it's funny because it's like you open like a door into their world. Because I don't, I don't, first of all, I don't go around. What are I don't, you talking about? I don't go around being like, hey, let me guess your bra size. But if it comes up organically. What are you, 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 your next job is going to be the carnival. 
I'll get if I get your broad size, you give me five bucks. Let's do this. And they write down a piece of paper. It's not that three not chances. That. It's not, three <laughs> chances. That's what they do. No. They give me three chances. Yeah, oh not no. Bro, I don't need three chances. I need one. I can't two. take you, man. You're, you're in, ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, one in it, that is a superhero. Now. First of all, one in doubt. Yeah. Thirty-four B. Just okay. say that. Just try it. Oh my that's, that's god. My, that's my little trick for you. So one day, <laughs> another thing is. Alright, so uh, the actual being there wasn't that cool. Like, a lot of times I'd be, like, in the back room, like, uh, steaming teddies. Oh, my God. You know what those yeah, are? Yeah, of course. I yeah, like, so the teddies would come. I didn't even know what a teddy was until yeah, the and, Oh, so you were in the back room, like, <clears throat> steaming them? Slowly. A lot of times. It was yeah. awful. Because they would come, and they're silk, and they're all wrinkly. Yeah. yeah. So I'd have to, like, put them on, and I'd just be, like, steaming teddies for hours. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I'd be out on the floor yeah. for a while, but, uh, I'd have to do, like, uh... I, could, I wasn't legally allowed to do bra fittings. Right. Which is stupid, because I could just tell anyways. But but anyways, I, yeah, I wasn't legally allowed to do that. But there were perks. So you know how they have, like, the giant uh, posters in the windows? Yeah. Well, they're not even posters. They're, like, giant, like, thick cardboard panels. Okay. With, you know, lingerie models on them. Did you use those for your no. backstage right, project? So here's the thing, oh, right? When uh, a model retires, uh, Andrew, you have to... Uh, thank you. Why are we doing this? Why is this even coming out right now? So, so yeah, this is like the yeah people are like this is not about making money in music. This is yeah, about making so money in music. So when a model again. like retires, you have to like destroy these giant pieces of art. Yeah, in my in my estimation, right? So it was part of my uh, it was part of my job to go take these huge panels out back and destroy them. Nice, out by the dumpster. That's cool, right? Ed? Yeah, I couldn't do it. Why? It's like taking like a like the Mona Lisa out and like destroying it. <laughs> In the back behind a mall. So what do you do? Mall. Like bury them for later no, use? No, no, no. I hid them. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, I found, is this true? I I found, how do I not know the story? So there was like a... It was one of those big like uh, dumpster oh. kind of things where they're all linked together. And uh, there was one that was always like not used. It was kind of like abandoned or something. So I took them all and I hid them underneath this like giant structure, right? And then under cover of darkness, covert ops went back with some friends of mine. And got them? Yeah, and got them. But they're so they're so huge, they don't fit in a car. So we had to like have our hands out like holding them on, on the top roof? of the car as we're like driving. And the wind yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's some guy's driving the highway like, and she so goes a lady in a bra and he's just like <laughs> where was the windshield like, like what happened? <laughs> I can't believe I never told you this question. Oh my god! Yeah. So, uh, this is so in college, like you know, people would have like posters of like hot chicks on their wall. I had like the giant Victoria's Secret panels. <laughs> Are you serious? Dude, this is so yeah, funny. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I did not have a story like that. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. Also, did... too, one day my my job yeah. was uh, to sort the posters. Okay. That was pretty cool. But, like, it's it's great because it, there's, like, five minutes where, like, this is, like, the coolest job ever. Yeah. And then eventually just sorting, like, posters. Of, like, How did the working. job end? Uh, I just, I just kind of... You did a, you did a bra fitting. That was it. No, nah, yeah, that was it. No. But, oh, another thing about uh, oh the destroying God. things. Yeah. So, I was out there one day getting ready to, like, hide, hide a bunch of panels. Yep. <laughs> and the guy from, and the guy from KB Toys... Oh, my God. ...comes out. Yeah, and he's like... And, <laughs> no, and I'm like, oh... Because, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of doing something yeah. shady, I guess. Yeah. And uh, like, he had this big box, yeah. and he had to destroy a bunch of toys, mm. right? You're like, dude, hide them under here for later. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, because for the toys, yeah. we like, I'm like, Are you, you just have to destroy all those? Yeah. And they're like pretty like awesome like toys. So uh, he's like, yeah, you want to help? I'm like, yeah, I want to help. Yeah. So we would take these toys, and we would just be like having like Olympic like shot putting discus contests, like... Whipping them as far as we could. Oh, really? And that was actually awesome. I miss that KB Toys guy. Oh, my God, man. I, guess I, thought, that... I thought you were going to say that, like, he's there smashing toys, and you're, like, pretending to smash the battles. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i got to break this. so yeah. tough. It's... Yeah, we're going to break them. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so tough. Oh, my God, yeah. man. That, so that, that, was, that was first thing. Was I, just... I moved. That's why. It was, it was not a well-paying job. Man. That's... But then I moved to Vegas? Is that what I moved? I don't remember. Oh I don't remember the specifics oh of it. God, I don't remember the breakup. You're too but much. You're too much. A lot of the managers didn't like me. The one manager initially liked She you. had my back. Yeah. But there are other ones, and they didn't really. Yeah, because you're a dude working at Victoria's yeah. Secret. Uh huh. Yeah. They... Oh, I can't believe I forgot to tell this story. Yeah? We're, so <laughs> we are going to change the title of this feed. All right. So after, after we're done. yeah, we probably should actually. So. <laughs> 
So I would get so bored steaming teddies all day. Yeah. Like, I'd lose my mind. That he would start, right? he'd start wearing them. No. <laughs> abso- absolutely not. Uh, yeah, this, this is just story time again. Dude, what, what right? are you doing right now? So this, all right. So, <laughs> so every now and then I would venture onto the floor. Right? Oh, God. But you meant, like, get on the floor. Okay, you get no, on no. the sales floor. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, whatever. Girls would be walking around. And I'd be wearing a name tag. And I'd be, you know, dressed, like, in, like, black. You know, you have, like, wear the black pants. You're yeah, yeah. kind of dressed up. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And, uh, you know, a lot of girls would kind of give me a hard time. And, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people, like, assumed I was gay because being a guy working there. Yeah, I was going to say it's like a threes company thing. Which I don't really, I don't really totally get that. Like, why would you assume that? Uh, no, no, no I, that. there's nothing wrong with that. It's like, yeah. I just assume that women might think that, so they're like, not, not like thinking that a guy's going to be like, hey. Right. Hey. See, that's the thing. Yeah. That, they assumed I was harmless, which yeah. I, which I am. <laughs> <laughs> they assumed I was harmless. Right? What are we doing on this feed? <laughs> like now, like, I can't, like looking looking back on these stories, I can't believe I actually cross got away check, with some of this. Cross stuff. check the dates he's talking about. Find out if there's any harassment cases in this location. So, this is crazy. So we'd have all these bras come in, like hundreds of bras, and I had this processing table in the back with like a bra, like like a bra pile stacked like oh. this high. It was like a huge, huge <laughs> pile, right? So I I would I swear to God I would do this. I would go onto the floor. I would find a girl, I would bring her to the back room in Victoria's Secret, and we would play bra Jenga, where you'd have to take a bra from the bottom of the pile and put it back on the top. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's a game I made, bra Jenga, like hundreds of bras, right, that I had kind of stacked in a column. So I'm like, you want to play bra Jenga? And she's like, what? I'm like, wait, this, I'm like, follow me. This is like, a customer. <laughs> yeah, it's a customer. Thing. I can't believe I did this. Like, this is true. But yeah. But yeah. So I'm they out, come out. out. <laughs> and they have to take one and they place it, right? And then one day we were doing it and, and like it, it toppled over and we're like, bro, Jenga! I can yell it when it happened. And she's like, what are you doing? You can't have customers back here. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's why some of the jerk managers didn't like me. Yeah, you, I haven't. I haven't you're, thought about bra jenga for many dude, years. F- f- listen, I have stitched me the shirt. It's Sean Daniel, bra jenga exclamation point. I'm bra jenga was fun. Bra jenga because it's harder it's, yeah. than regular jenga because there's so many like the they get stuck like yeah, the yeah, little yeah, yeah sure things get stuck. But mm-hmm. oh my god, yeah. I, you're ridiculous. Yeah, so that was an interesting part. So that's how you make part time money mm-hmm. as a musician. So <laughs> and. uh I, I'm gonna bow out. Like I, I, I worked at a car wash. I worked. <laughs> um, uh, that's it. That's all I did. What about the, the car wash? Sounds pretty cool. The car wash is okay. I worked there for one day because it was the hardest work I've ever done in my mm-hmm. entire life, and it was like 98 degrees in July, and I was like 15 or 16 years old, and brought you, and uh, and that was it. Yeah, and so. Did you get free car washes? No, no. Um, we sucked up all of the uh, quarters. <laughs> they told <laughs> with the uh, with the, um, ah. the the super vacuum, and then okay, here's a funny story: is it was really hot, and I was the vacuum guy, and I was I was young, and we were, it was I was playing, I was I was working with my drummer, his name was Dave, who's the smelly burrito guy, by the way, and we'll talk, we'll talk about we'll talk later, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and I was the vacuum guy, and it was so hot, and I remember like all these cars were coming in. And uh, like SUVs and stuff, and I get, in, I'd open the door, and the air conditioner was on. It was like really nice. And then one guy in this like souped out Corvette pulls up, and um, and we, uh, he it, like, I didn't realize. I'm sure this lobby, but like, it was the first time I ever like touched a Corvette, right? Sure. But they are so low to the ground. Oh yeah. Like so low compared mm-hmm. to everything. So like, I open the door, and I go to vacuum, and I literally just like fell in, and I fell into like <clears throat> where the driver's side, like whatever front pedal place where the feet go yeah and i landed there and the air conditioning was blowing my face and i was laying there just like randomly like putting the vacuum on things like this but like being like this is the best <laughs> and just laying there with the air conditioner blowing on me and then my friend dave was the vacuum guy no was the wiper guy at the end you know like when they open and wipe down everything and i can see him this is the best story i think i've ever seen in my life i, I remember like he opened up a hatchback and i'm watching him and i'm dead already and I watch him crawl into the back of the hatchback and just collapse and lay in the back of the hatchback like, <laughs> and like he's not moving and his feet like like this like the tailgate's down and his feet are hanging off of it. And he's just laying there and I was like, "What's happening?" And like he, another guy had to be like to him. And I'm watching him. And he got up. He's like, Ugh. "Anyway, so it was the worst day of work in my life." And we never went back. Not even to get our paychecks. 
Of course then, you didn't get your paycheck. So no, you... then we, then our mom, our moms were like, you have to go back. So him and I like walked in three weeks later. The guy was like, I was wondering where you guys were. And I was like, shut up. <laughs> anyway, that was a hard day's work. Wow, for... it seems like it's kind and of we, we were, Hey man, we were trying to, we were, trying, we were musicians trying to make it, trying <laughs> to survive. Right. You gotta do something. So you, you got only there for a day? Worked there for a day. <clears throat> that was the worst job of my life. I mean, I mean, God bless those people, man, because that's not the easiest work. Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, st- staring at my hand with no power tools. Yes, yes. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Any kind of working on cars. Yeah, but no power tools is the worst. Yeah. But how do you really realistically make money? Uh, you have to, uh, honestly, I think you have you to... You hustle. You have to hustle. One of, one of the bandmates has to be a hustler and has to get gigs. You have to get gigs. You have mm-hmm. to work gigs. You have to get paying gigs. You have to try it out. You have to split bills with bands. You have to get in. So, like, you're not going to be making a ton of money until you get in the routine of that's right. money as a band. Mm-hmm. That, that's the truth. And then you'll find your stride. You just gotta keep working hard. Yeah, that's or you can be is. a solo artist, but you're still not gonna make money. I mean, you, I mean, you can make money to survive, but you're talking about like, hey, I'm a musician. <clears throat> mm-hmm. you, you, gotta, you gotta hustle. You know, I know one of my student's parents is a professional um, sculptor, you know, and he's very successful. Cool. Really. Awesome. Like, super successful. And I had a conversation with him. I said, dude, how'd you make it? And he's like, it's not what you think it is. He's like, you have to put in all of your energy. And I was like equating it to like the same thing with the band. Like, it's not like he's not wealthy from creating his good work, which is good. He's wealthy from believing in his work and going out to art shows and, and doing it. Sure. That's what you got to do. You got to get You just got to do it. Someone just asked how much an average bar gig pays. Uh, anywhere. Like, well, I mean, uh, <clears throat> 250 to 500 is, is a usual thing. You know, I would really... That seems a little high for a while. Well, that's Long Island. I mean, that's when I was in Long Island in New Hampshire. Okay. Uh, see, and that that's where, uh, like, in, in our town... Yeah. Here? Mo- mostly solo gigs. Yeah. And how much, right? how much do they pay? I would say probably on average, like, 150 to 200. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, that's, but tips. You make tips. That's a little... It's a solo thing. It's tough. It's that's tough, tough. Man. That's why, honestly, I don't really play out that much. No. Solo wise. No, same here. I mean, but <clears throat> there's, there's different avenues. There's of different avenues of, making, money. of making money. But yeah. you gotta be diversified. Yes. You know, if you really want to be a performing musician, do as much as you can. Play guitar, play, play guitar. bass, play piano, yeah. keyboard. Get a wedding back. list. Get a wedding <laughs> list going, you know, because weddings do pay. Mm-hmm. Have you guys worked on a cruise ship? Um, no. No. <laughs> Somebody, a, a long time ago, I was, I was trying to get talked into that. Um, yeah, look at, look at the... I've heard... Yeah, Andrew's having a <laughs> <laughs> like, You're like, hey, guys. <clears throat> um, no. I've. It seems kind of cool, but honestly, the musicians who I know who have done the cruise gigs yeah. don't really speak favorably of them. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, it was just like a weird... Like, you're like a prisoner. You're a prisoner. I mean, you, you, yeah. you're, you're landlocked, and you're doing the same mm-hmm. thing of a schedule, and it's not like you're on a cruise ship. I mean, you're you have a job. Yeah. You know? Sure. It's like Sean and I live... Literally live in paradise. Like, we live in paradise, but we don't get to experience it that much because yeah. we're working here. So it's like when you're going on a cruise ship, it's vacation. But if you're, gigging, mm-hmm. if you're gigging on a cruise ship, it's not a vacation. Largest show. It's the largest show you ever played. Oh, that was, that's the... Um, I mean, we probably played a, rather a lot of large shows. I think... I'm trying to think. We played, um, like, festivals and stuff, right? We played... We, yeah, we played a couple festivals um, in the 2000s era. Um, I'm trying to think. I think... Oh, this is good. My old band, we played an... <laughs> well, Listen. I'm not a band anymore, but I'll tell you, this is, I didn't do the gigging, but we played an anti, like, we'll say an anti-political rally in the heart like of Boston. Anarchy, like. <laughs> whatever, it, you know, whatever it was, and it, and it was in Boston Commons, and there was, like, tens of hundreds of thousands of people there, like, huge amount of people. We wow. played. We played this, like, little, like, not, it was like a statue, a uh, little pagoda, uh, whatever, huge, and we're playing there, and there's a lot of people there. And they introduced us, and the, and like the first thing my lead singer does is like, "Wake up, you motherfuckers!" <laughs> like starts cursing, and I'm like, "Really? Like, can we just play music? Like, I'm not here. I'm not here That's to play any sort of political. Like, I just want to play music right they now." They start burning things. And you're just like, no, yeah, you're like, man. no. Um, but no, I played. I mean, we played some festivals in front of like you know three thousand, four thousand, ten thousand people. I mean, yeah. but uh, to be honest, I mean. Whatever. When, when you're when you're with your band on stage, no matter how big the crowd, it's you. You still you're just playing with your band. Yeah. You know, like it's very rare where you look out and you're like, <laughs> hey, that person eighteen thousand feet back or whatever. Like, I see you. It is kind of funny because like the stage, the stage size is a huge issue. Usually oh, yes. at a lot of places. A lot of times yeah. you're just like jammed next to each other. You know. Yeah. Which is fun, but then like if you had, once you get in a thing, we have a bigger stage. 
it's like you kind of feel like you still have to be like really close to your bandmates yeah, or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. like just stretch out and actually use the stage. It's weird. It's like an it's interesting so far kind away. of weird thing. Somebody asked if we ever get together. <laughs> no. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't. There's, there's been potential. Well, has there? Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. FST? Remember that was going to be a thing? Yeah, that's the Florida Studio Theater thing. You see, you don't even remember. Yeah. This is like your idea. Talk to me. Oh, it play, oh playing like yeah. out in front of the clubs? I, I, in front or, of the... Yeah, whatever. You talked about it. I don't really know. No. But we should, though, we should. right? We yeah, that's what I'm saying. Stitch and Daniel. We told, there Daniel we go. Daniel Stitch? Stitch Daniel? No, it should be Daniel Stitt. Is it alphabetical order? How does that work? Uh, what? Crosby Whose name St- goes first? Yeah, because it's Crosby, Stills, Nash, and it should really be Crosby, Nash, and Stills, which doesn't sound right. What sounds better, Stitch Daniel or Daniel Stitch? Well, Stitch and Daniel. with a band name. Yeah, Stitch and Daniel. Uh, Ninja Business. Ooh. Right? Broad like Jenga. In, uh, Broad Jenga. No, <laughs> Broad Jenga. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Broad right. Jenga. What up, everybody? Maybe. <laughs> maybe it'll happen sometime. I don't know. Anyway, so make money in music. You gotta get a side gig. <laughs> you gotta get a side gig. I would go for it. If you're, here's here's the thing, don't half-ass it. If you really want to do it, do it and go for it. Yes. You know? Cheap. What, what, what was what that was question? It, what, uh, could you recommend some cheap and worth learning recording program as a replacement for Ableton? So the cheap one would be like Gra- Reaper, Garage right? Band. That's yeah, Garage Band. That's yeah. pretty free. <laughs> well, if you have a Mac, you but a what Mac. if you don't have a Mac? Mm-hmm. Uh, then you borrow somebody's Mac and you get no good. No, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, you, that's your realm. Yeah. So, well, I mean, it depends on your computer, first of all, right? Can you tell me what kind of computer you have? Yep. I prefer featuring great thing. What else? Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I'm on Logic, which is Apple only. Uh, Pro Tools, I would not recommend because they have like spicy. subscription. Yeah, I know, right? Spicy. But, uh, Window, Windows 7. Is Reaper that much? I thought Reaper's like 60, 60 Yeah, months. Reaper. Yeah, I, I, I think, again, people like Reaper, right? But what about, mm-hmm. what about, like, I know that when you buy an interface, like, it usually comes with some software, right? Like, yeah, usually it's like a trial, like, late oh, version okay. of stuff, <clears throat> which I'm really, like, uh, messing around. Oh, it's on trial forever. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. So Reaper. I would say go with Reaper, because it's, it's as good as anything. People really like it. Boom. It's good? Yeah. So I've, I've never personally used it, but I've heard from people who I trust that it is pretty good. Uh, teaching? Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? Mm-hmm. Teaching is a pretty good side gig. Yeah, sure. Pays how the bills. Did, how did we not even think about that? <laughs> talked about that a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But mm-hmm. Yeah, teaching. Um, yeah. But, and honestly, it's like, but aside from just making money, like, yeah, you should teach. Because teaching is going to make you a better player, first of all. It's like, what? Uh, this one. Does Hansa Fuku make a beard cream? I don't, I don't know. I, you know, I think my contact at Hans de Fuco got fired. Yeah, because he's like, dude, you, you gave Sean Daniel a, 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 a free product? That's so yeah, funny. so, uh, yeah, uh, Hans de Fuco. I'm, kind of, I'm still kind of warring with Hans de Fuco a hey, little bit. You gotta we'll get see. some of the hair cream. Yeah, it's messed up. After all, I've done for them. Yeah. For them you, to go dark. What was your coupon code, Sean? Daniel? SD? Um, I don't think I had a coupon code. Oh, okay. You just gave me a link. Oh, man. <clears throat> Yep. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, Pro Tool. Oh, this guy's name is Pro, Pro Tool Forty. Now, again, sorry to hate on Pro Tools. I've just not had good experiences with it. But I mean, it's still kind of like an industry. Standard. It's so funny. My 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 very good friend. My very good friend. Like literally, like taught Ableton in the school districts. He knew er- everyone at Ableton. Really? Yeah. I mean, like the guy was an Ableton certified teacher, and he's like, "Dude, you gotta get Ableton." I was like, "No, no." I was like, "No interest." And he's like, "Dude, I can get you a copy of Ableton." I'm like. No, Oof, thank just you. Just like listening it. to new music for you. No, yeah, it's just like I, I was like, I have no need for it, um, and yeah. he's like, but it's like the best recording. So I was like, yeah, <clears> I'm just gonna play guitar, and like he, I, I, he got very upset that I wouldn't take a copy. So of those things thing. you're interested in it, or you're not. Yeah, you know, true. You can't make somebody. You, or not. Where's the rest of the pedal board with dem- demo? Justin? I think I might be going over there either later today or tomorrow. Now I gotta we, go to Justin's house. Can we, can we shoot a pedal demo today and like have me like show you how like my knowledge of pedals works, which I don't have a knowledge of pedals, and like it'd be like a monkey trying to try, try a to learn medical, medical experiment monkey. Medical yeah. experiment. You can see me trying to figure out a pedal. How- I was thinking about a new format for the pedal videos, yeah, which is demos. Maybe having like like a model like showcase it like Price is Right style. Oh, and like, then just kind of like is it Andrea or Andrea? Andrea. Andrea. Uh, Sorry, Andrea. It should be Andrea sitting there like this. I'm sure she'd love that. That sounds like something she would do. No. Uh, yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah. All right, she's, she's in. in. She's uh-huh. in. Good. 
kind of just make it a little more, a little fancier. Instead of sort of like, here's the pedal, like let's do the demo, whatever. Yeah, be better to sing. You're good. You're she's a good singer. What, no, G a good singer. Yeah, what, what? Andrea's like the best singer. She's like the greatest singer oh. in the world. Let's do this. Come on, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so J Justin's around. It's like, I gotta go to Justin's place now. He's all, like, busy. Because he got a dog. He can't, like, leave his dog alone. Oh, yeah. I've never used... Wait, the Roland, Roland GR55. Is that the looper? What is that? Is that is that the synthesizer one? I don't even know. I'm not even sure. <laughs> my pedal board is a diddle looper sitting on the floor. That's, like, that. that's what my pedal board was for three months. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I was like... Oh. I have a legit pedal board now. I still don't really... You no. Know. I gotta use it sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you, like, in my humble opinion, the Tube Screamer 808 is a phenomenal pedal. Sure. Just letting you know that. All right, so the GR55 what is, is a synth, synth pedal. pedal. That's what Andreas oh! uses. Is that the MIDI pe MIDI thing? I think so, yeah. I have that. I, I have what? it. What? I, I have a MIDI I'm not using you, it. You don't even have a guitar that no, has it, MIDI, though, it right? comes No, it comes with a MIDI pickup, and you gotta take off the bridge and put it on to paint yeah. them. Yes. Or you can get a MIDI guitar like the Godin. I want to get the I want to get the the Go, the Godin um, MIDI the thing, guitar. So my buddy Andreas, yeah, Colin uses that. Huh? He's been on the channel before, and it's awesome. It's actually really cool. Oh, way huge, way huge pedals have cool pedals. I used to have a swollen pickle pedal. They have the weirdest what was name. It? God, it's Aquapus like... is another Bra one. Jenga. <laughs> that actually kind of would be like a good pedal name. Yeah, that does seem like a pedal name, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's great. Speaking of that, Melody, I have no idea. Wait, hold on. Can you... What the heck? I don't. Sean should enter. What was that saying? Sean should enter, like right one from the. I don't get it. Big muff. Big muff pedal. I have a big muff. That is actually. Oh really yeah, I've got. It. Yeah, big muff's awesome. You have big muff. Or or no. Yeah, big muff. Yeah, I have a big muff. Big muff was like the first pedal I ever bought. Yeah, it, I, it, it's <clears> the big muff and the tube screamer are two totally different sound, sounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ian's competition thing. Oh yeah, you know I have a competition on my on my channel. You have a competition? Yeah, there's a competition. If you go, if anybody's interested in winning a Nux Four Amp Simulator pedal, okay, really? you, yeah, go to my channel. And there's, um, it's guitar phrasing with melodies or something like that. And, uh, I have a comment. I at the end of it, I write a quick, I, oh no, I pick, I pick, I pick numbers out of a hat and wrote a progression. And really? I said, whoever can write the best melody and it's voted by thumbs ups in the comments. That's cool. That's a good, that's a solid contest. Yeah. You know, I should do some contests on this channel yeah. because, uh, contests a, a lot good. of these contests aren't contests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like, sign up for the email or no. tag this on Instagram and you're entered in the contest. That's no. not a contest. No, that's not a contest. That's a raffle. Yeah, that's a raffle. This yeah. is a contest. No, Keep... I'm all about contests. It's funny because there is one, I don't know if it's a leader, but there's one melody that came in that I always hummed myself over and over my head. And mm -hmm. it was a simple progression. It's like a one, six, four, five or five, one. It's like a super simple and like it came in, it's so good. But like people video, they 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 take a video of themselves playing it, and they post it as a comment, and they get they get thumbs up and thumbs down. I give them two months. I like you it. You can enter it. Yeah. But you you win the pedal because everybody's gonna be like, oh my god, Sean Daniel. <laughs> oh look, yeah. And then everybody just hates on you. Yeah. All right, all right. Let me know what kind of contest you guys want. I'm gonna do a contest. Do a contest. I'm I'm also gonna, and I'm gonna make some t-shirts too. You should. And then <laughs> and a mug and a mug. Uh huh. Oh yeah, it's stitch mug. It was to Sean. You should have people cover your songs. Yes. Yes. See now she's talking. I don't know. Is that is that a little like egotistical? Who can cover my my songs the best? I don't know. I, I got shown. Yeah, yeah, it's a stitch method shirt. I thought we were talking about my song. <laughs> no, I'm talking about shirt now. <laughs> 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 there, oh, there will be salty blues t-shirts coming. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Salty Blues t-shirts with the actual comment on it. No, but then you have to like... Mm, no, I'm you, sure that's fine. You have to give them credit? No, I don't have to give them credit for a Salty Blues comment. No, you sure? Who covered Gone the best? Yeah, so that, the newest one, that's hard to sing. Gone? Did you Gone, that one? That's, that's that's got like, it's got like a high... I told like, you it's one of my favorite songs, so like... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's rough. All right. All right, maybe we'll do a... I got stuff to give away. Yeah. I'll give, I'll give lots of stuff away. You know I'll what you do? I'll get you one of these, and you can give it away on your channel. All right, yeah, I'll, 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 add a, I'll add a mug. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start rocking the Stitch Method year. But don't no, that's gonna make I you look to. uglier. <laughs> like, why would you wear my? No, face? I think it would make the Stitch Method look better. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. That's There's it, my confidence. I'm like, uh -huh, I'm the sad, <laughs> sad man. <laughs> of a sad man. That's <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, man. Nice. So I'm driving listening to you guys. Don't post that type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not only are you driving and listening, but driving, listening, and typing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's 
god. Oh my god. I can see it like on live leak. Like, guy, <laughs> don't crash. But like, Ian, YouTubers cause fatal accident. Be safe. Hang up the phone now. Do that. All right, so yeah. maybe we'll do a kind. It, it seems kind like of people are kind of down for. The I have an idea, thing. Sean. How about after this, we design a contest. And we shoot a video for you. A contest. All right, let's do it. You gotta pick right. something to win. Do they can win the kiss doll? I got you that you don't want. But I'll, I'll just throw autograph by you. <laughs> And unsolicited D-picks There you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you. uh-huh. That's it. <laughs> and me on Snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some nudes. Uh-huh. Get some Sean Daniel nudes. There yes, you go. Let's Have do, at it. We should mm-hmm. do a contest on your channel, man. All right. We're yeah. going gonna, gonna to do some contests. Contests. That's what we yeah. do. So please, comment. Yeah. See what kind of contest you guys would like. Oh, the song. Yeah, okay. So uh, as for the song, we're just waiting for... Um, we're deciding what to do with the drum drums. Everything's yeah, done. I don't know if I should do... Uh, we're going to talk about this right now after this. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. If we want to replace it with live drums or if we want to keep the, the MIDI drums. The MIDI drums let's, sound Let's do the MIDI drums because you know what? Then, like, because we, and this is true. You know, we have, a, we have a song like a writing a song from scratch and it's pretty much done. You've seen it, but we had a lot of debate about the drums. I was sick for like two weeks so we couldn't do anything. Mm. Then I had emergency oral surgery. F my mouth. I mean, don't do <laughs> Yeah. Man. That's a whole different type of contest. <laughs> no, and nobody wins. Can we please? Nobody wins. We it's we live. We can't delete it. We can't. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Listen. This is probably a good time to end it. Yeah, we're going to go. Ah, yeah. oh, tears. Well, God, yeah. We're going to have a contest. Yeah. A good, wholesome, <laughs> old-fashioned <laughs> contest. Why and, are you guys uh, even still watching this? I know. Okay. And that's how you make yeah. money in music. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how you make money? <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, my God. We're done. <laughs>